Let's learn how to make this awesome hollow text effect in Kittle. So I've got my canvas here. I am going to use an AI image. You can use any image you would like, an image of yourself, an image of your pet, or something from Unsplash in the images panel. But I'm just gonna take marble statue on a white background here. I like to say on a white background so that I can just cleanly remove the subject from the background. You can also leave the background as well by making a duplicate and then the top layer removing the background from that one so that you can sandwich the text. But I'm just gonna leave this nice yellow background here and lock this image so that it doesn't get in my way. I'm gonna click T to add a text box and look for a nice font. For this, I used the Came poster font in the black font weight. You can use whatever font you'd like. And I'm just gonna type marble in here, just cause it's a marble statue, why not? And then I'm going to center this text on my artboard. Next, I'm going to size this up and make sure it's center. And then I'm going to hold option and make a duplicate of this. I'm going to go into my text color and remove the fill color and add a border weight just in black. That looks good. Next, I'm going to select this full black text and send this to the back of my artboard. And then I'm going to line these up and now you can see it's creating this cutout window effect. We can take this a step further. So I'm just gonna duplicate my artboard by holding option and dragging the artboard over. I'm going to get rid of my text here and we can actually do the same thing with shapes. So I really love these mid-century star shapes. You can go to the abstract section in the elements panel and find these under mid-century design. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna make this color black right here. And then I'm going to duplicate this, get rid of the fill color on this one and give it a black border weight. About right there looks good. Now I'm going to select this one and send it to the back and line these stars up. And same thing, we're getting this really, really cool cutout effect. We can follow through a design with this and place it right here and then we can just option drag to duplicate. I'm gonna click the one that's full and send it to the back, same deal. And then select them both and size them down. Place them on her shoulder about right there. Same thing, duplicate it. And this one doesn't need to be messed with layers wise because it's gonna sit right there. It also doesn't have to be just images that we do this effect with. So I'm gonna duplicate another artboard and I have my text right here and I'm just going to leave it as one text layer, get rid of the border weight and just make it a regular fill in black. You can use whatever color you'd like. I'm just gonna grab my star from this other artboard and since my text is black, this needs to be a different color. So I'm gonna select my star and I'm gonna make this white, just a solid white fill color and then I'm going to select my outline star and make that white as well. And then same deal, I'm going to select the filled star and send it to the back. And now we have this same cutout effect as well. So let's say I place this right here and then I could copy that, send the filled shape to the back, make that a little bit smaller and place it right here. And then we're just gonna do this one more time, copy and paste, send the filled shape to the back. And I think you guys know how this works now. We can also do some cool things experimenting with images. So if I take this and I option and drag this, I'm going to use my vectorizer, image vectorizer right here. You can put it on one color or two colors. Just play around and see what kind of different variations you get with this. And now I'm going to select this fill color and I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to add a border weight to this as well in white. Now I'm going to grab my text and put it over here and center that on my artboard. Same deal, I'm gonna put this in front and my image is behind and now I can just line these up. 
until they match each other. And we also have this same kind of cool cutout effect here as well. Here is just a time lapse of how I even use this effect to make this thumbnail. I just have a gradient here in the back and then my statue as well as my text right here. Same thing, duplicate it, make a cutout version and a solid version and make sure your solid version is on the background as well as the same for the stars. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any awesome tutorials just like this, other text effects, graphic design tips, and even loads of print-on-demand related content. If you haven't tried Kittle yet, it is free to sign up for and give it a go. We also have a promo code for you in the description of this video to get a percentage off a pro plan. Make sure to give this video a like and drop a comment down below. Let me know what other kind of effects you want to know how to do in Kittle. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.